you know, when I talk about uh, what is the one thing you should focus on, what you should be aware of, and then you take it back to focus on great songs. That's good. And we actually hear that um, with a lot of the educational uh, seminars and workshops that we do. But we don't hear people going into what the process or the formula is for writing great songs. What do you suggest in that regard? Oh, Jesus. That's a $64 million question, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I just think... Um When I was riding to the airport coming out here, I was listening to uh, Don McLean's Vincent. And I don't know, man. That song to me is important today it was, as it was the day it was written. And as a songwriter, you know, I love to groove and get dark as much as the next man. But, you know, it's the legacy as, as a songwriter that you know, for myself, is that you really want to leave. Um, I've, I've got too many great examples of whether you want to talk McCartney, if you want to talk Rod, if you want to talk Prince, or if you want to talk Dave Grohl, who I think is absolutely diamond. He's probably one of my favourite writers around right now. Um, Actually, you know, I want to talk Heat Wave. <sighs> <laughs> like years I think you're ago. talking about Heat Wave, you know, but the, but the song that we used in our promo for this conversation was Always and Forever. And it's a song, how many people know the song Always and Forever? Right. What is it about that song that endures? What makes it stand the test of time? I, dude, I mean, Rod's, Rod's cut, cut from the cloth, you know, and he's an old soul boy, and that song is just. It's your mum and dad dancing in the kitchen together. I mean, it's, it's that song that, you know, you wake up in the morning, your mum's vacuuming, and that's the song that's on. I mean, it just speaks to, you know, the person that has, that's, you know, working Monday to Friday, and when it comes the weekend, you know, they're either hanging out with their kids, playing old Motown tracks. That's what we did. I mean, I joined Heatwave just after that song came out, and it was just like, People were getting married to that song, for God's sake. You know, I, just, I, I don't know. I can't tell you why it caught on, but when I listened to it, well, I can't tell you what was in his mind, but I can tell you why people love it, because it's simple. It says all it needs to say simply. You know, it's, you know, it's just a beautiful piece of music that obviously came from his, from his uh, spiritual side. You know? so